Hi, this is Mike Johnson again, and now that we've got our WooCommerce set up the way we want to, we're going to start adding products to our site. Now, there's two ways we can add products. But the first thing you have to do is be familiar with the menu, and the thing you need to click on to start adding products is the Post Products link. And here you'll have the ability to choose one of two different kinds of campaign. One is a standard campaign, and the other one is a subscription campaign. Now with a standard campaign, we can go in and we can select individual products from individual Amazon categories and add them to our site. And we do this via individual campaigns. Now, the difference with a subscription campaign is we pick products that match you know, our categories and keywords and whatever new products are added to Amazon that match that category that you've picked out in keywords, they're gonna automatically get posted to your site as those new products are added. So it keeps you uh, continually adding fresh content to your site and get the latest and greatest new things to your site. The example we have here on the page that you can see yourself obviously is constantly keep your site updated with the best selling books. Whenever a new book enters the Amazon bestseller list, it will be posted to your site if that's how you set it up in the campaign. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at setting up a standard campaign first. And click next now before we go in and start picking our our individual categories and whatnot we can go into our optional settings here and click on that and we can go in and first thing we look at here is post dates now the post dates that we can set up here in our optional settings is we can go in here and select random dates that we want products to be posted to our site to give it a more natural feel that we're adding products over time. You can add all the products to your site now, but I recommend actually you can go back in time here. You can say, ah, oh, I added these products back in April and I'm gonna continue adding these products um, through August and they will continually um, add new products to your site over time and you can do things like you know I hit equal instead of plus plus three months yeah, things like that you see here it automatically selected a time and date for for me but I can go in and select my date which is much easier and what we can do is get a very scattered general posting of products to our site instead of having them all posted at one time and having random dates is the best way to do that. Um, next thing is categories. Now you can do two really neat things here, or actually three really neat things here. One is assign products to your own categories and you actually can go in here and create your own uh, categories right now and Boom, now I'm gonna post my products to the test category, or I can have Amazon categories used and created for me on my site. You can, as you say here, replicate Amazon categories for selected products. And that is a very you know neat way of quickly adding stuff, and you can do both together. So it's a, a very neat way to add stuff to your site as well. Now you can post your products. now. This is here, advanced options. This here is the how products are added via WooCommerce. And the simple variable, pro, variable product is the standard way of adding products via WooCommerce. And it also gives you the ability to add product variations to your site, which we'll look at once we have some products on our site as well. Now, that's the recommended way. Now, if you want all the products to be external affiliate links, then you choose this option. And remember, we, what we did before was you can also select to have that all set up as the 90-day cookie type links. Now, you can have your products posted as draft, so you can go in and manipulate them before they go live, which if you want to change titles and whatnot to make your site more unique, obviously, if you have a couple thousand products that you're adding, this isn't the most time you know, conducive method here, but it is something that can really help you out as far as you know SEO is concerned. So that is a consideration. The discussion, you can allow comments and whatnot here with your products, and then you can adjust who the actual post author is based on your site. 
Now, next thing, so you can keep track of these campaigns, is to add in your campaign name and make sure you have that there so that you can uh, track it later on when you get into Prosociate and you want to, you have tons of campaigns on your site and you want to adjust it. You can go in to manage campaigns and uh, pick new products or whatnot that you want to add to that campaign. Once all that's done, all you have to do is click back over to general and you click on your specific uh, category or whatnot that you want to use and get products from and you can adjust this and choose multiple uh, different categories and pull up and create as many campaigns as you want but you can literally dig down into Amazon's categories you see here you can go into each And what it's doing is using that secret ID and secret key, you know, key you have. And what we're going to do is select we're going to pick on fashion hoodies and sweats and I'm just going to click on find products and see what we find here. As you can see here it pulled up 33 results for us and you see all the different rockstar sweatshirts that we've pulled up now for a test we can go through and select individual products you see here I changed from 33 to 1 and I could pick individual products that I want to add via this campaign or I can select everything and then I can click on create product posts and go but we also have an advanced search where we can adjust where we can ignore offers from third-party sellers we can uh, ignore search parameters and post uh, just the following ASINs if you went to Amazon and you want specific products you can enter them in one ASN per line and add them in here you can adjust the pricing so you only get products between a certain price that you want uh, that's all things you can do with the advanced search function now what I'm going to do here is we're going to click on create product posts and it's going to work for us now you see here it's processing and posting a new product you see how quickly it goes out using the Amazon API to grab these products and post them to your site these are actually creating posts uh, product posts via the products section here on our site you can go in there and adjust categories and tags and whatnot on your site you can add new products yourself to your site you don't have to even use Prosociate. you can add your own external affiliate products as well to the installation if you want now if we ever want to go and look at all the products that are getting added to our site all we have to do is click on the products tab and it'll take us to it but while this is processing, as you can see here, it says do not close your browser. And you can click on the show logs and it's going to show you all the different things that are happening right now, the products that are getting posted. And you can see here, when we use simple variable product, what we can do is we can add product variations to our site for each individual product. And that is a huge way to taking your site to a very very user-friendly real type shopping experience using Prosociate. This is very very important stuff. And you can see now we've now added 33 products and it's complete and all the different products and their variations have been added to our site. Once that's done of course we can go back and we can go into our manage campaigns tab you can see it here you can go in you can edit and it'll take you right back to what we created and we can select other products uh, adjust the search do whatever we need to do to add more different products to the site but then we go off to the you know shop page in our site home page and see all the different products added to our site you see the ones that are already marked as on sale 
that are on sale on Amazon. And see here with the ones that have product variations, you'll see things like select options. And so if we go to the actual product page for it, you go here to the options and now you see we have white, extra large available, and add to cart. And you see that product listed there, shown there, the white, and it's added to our cart and we can view the cart and then proceed to check out, which takes us to Amazon. So perfect, easy, simple. And of course that's just for our main edit campaign, uh, main campaigns and not subscriptions. Okay, now let's look at uh, subscription campaign. With the subscription campaign, we're going to do exactly the same thing we did with the previous campaign, but the difference being that now when we select our particular categories and whatnot, now we're going to be looking at creating something that adds new products to our site over time. So we go in, we find exactly what we want to add. And go into our optional things where we can add new categories or use the categories of our own to create product character uh, categories as we already said previously post our product the same ways we talked about with the other categories picking our name and as we did do a search to find our products As you see here, it pulled up tons and tons and tons of products from that search. Now, of course, we can sort based on different priorities that we have for our site. We can add, you know, a minimum price and a max price. Um, but notice there's no uh, room here to put an ASIN or whatnot in because with a subscription, we're going to be looking to continually add posts based on our search so right now we don't have a very refined search we just say hey we want all cargo shorts to be on our added to our site and based on Amazon's categories and our own and right now it's just gonna continually add them as they're added to Amazon so I can create product posts from this and it's going to go in, it's going to start working as it did before uh, previously. Okay, and we go into our site. Once we're done loading our subscription, you see here now we have added some of our uh, shorts to the site and all the different product variations that come with it. Now, some of these product variations could cause it, your uh, products take a very long time to load and you see here the size size 29 and then all these different uh, colors and whatnot here and you see for each one of the colors regardless the different styles for this particular one it loads all the variations on your site so you have a true shopping site just like any other you know shopping online shopping store and by virtue of it being a subscription it's going to continually add new products and make changes as uh, these products are added to Amazon so if all of a sudden there's now uh, more than just size 29 on the site you know with different colors or whatever they'd be added for this particular product but then new shorts would be added as well so that's the power of subscriptions to continually add new products to your site 
from a specific category based on your search criteria for as long as you want it to run. And that's what the subscriptions are. And that's a very powerful feature of the new Persociate too. So back into our site, and you can see here in the Manage Subscriptions area, I can always come in here to that subscription. I can click on Edit, and it's going to go in, and it's going to pull up that search that I did, and it's going to load the products from Amazon, and then I can go in and refine that and adjust it if necessary. And you see here, it brings it back up, what I already have. And same thing. If I go into the normal manage campaigns, I can go in and adjust that particular campaign. So I can continually add new regular campaigns and I can continue to add new uh, subscriptions, but I can always do either or from the post products link and pick whichever one I want to do and hit the next button and go from there. And that's how you manage campaigns and add and post products to Persociate.